Well, good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Folan and I hope you had a great weekend. Well, we have started the week, the all crucial week. You could say it's the um, deadline week uh, because on Saturday, Nigerians will be going out to the polls uh, to vote the next president. And uh, in that connection, uh, we should be talking all things election. As you know, we can talk about it right up until Thursday, after which we have to, you know, chill. Uh, those are the uh, regulations. But this morning, our guest is uh, Mike Iguini. Mr. Iguini is a former resident electoral commissioner for Aqua Bomb States, and since then, he has been, you know, very, very all things are vocal on elections and what Nigerians need to know about BIVAS and any newfangled things about this election. Um, good morning to you, Mike. Good morning, Yore, and good morning, Nigerians. Indeed. Well, it's the, day, it's the week we have arrived. It looked like it was far away. Now it's just days away. Um, so what, you know, we're talking about this before coming on air. The essentials, what every Nigerian needs to just have at its fingertips to know about BIVAS and all things 2023 election, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Yori, for having me. And uh, good morning to uh, entire people of our country, Nigeria, and wishing every one of us, <clears throat> people of our country, and indeed our country, uh, a very uh, hopeful and successful election in five days' time. And I think, um, Yori, thank you very much uh, for all that we've been doing together since uh, September last year as part of our contributions uh, to give meaning and purpose to the ballot as the best means of the expression of the will of the people in a democracy. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the hour is so close, it's nearby. And the question you raise, are uh, what are the issues that uh, the Nigerian people need to know? First and foremost, may I say this here, that this election that is coming up on account of the current legal templates, the INEC <laughs> innovations and procedures that have been developed to give meaning and purpose to the ballot, clearly has taken power back to the Nigerian people. The people are now at the center of electoral democracy uh, whereas the candidates themselves will now be at the periphery. So their fate will be determined by the people. And that is why it is essential that as uh, five days to we need to know the following. One, my first message, uh, which is part of my closing engagement since last year uh, for Nigerians, is that first, this morning, from Abia State to Zamfara State, wherever you please, if you have your telephone, uh, there's something that I've sent to, um, to, the, to, the, to, your, to your station now that we should put, put out there. And that is that the first thing is to try and locate, determine your status in the register of voters, as well as your location exactly, which is very simple. All you need to do is just to go to www.cvr.admin dot INET Nigeria or CVR CVR dot admin dot INET Nigeria. It will take you straight to a page where it will require you to enter your your last name, your first name, your the the, the state you are, whether you are in Zafara, you are in Delta, you are in Abia. It will show the state there because you need to check your name on the register now before that election and to also know your exact location once you 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 log in on that it will take you to that, to that page and will be making those requirements your date of birth once you do that it will show clearly to you your exact location of your only unit so that on that day you don't need to go anywhere so that is the first thing that you need to do number two is that there is a pyramid which i've also sent to uh, the station clearly showing that this election will be a reflection of our collective character and behavior as a people, because that pyramid shows clearly that this election, who will become what on account of the innovations that have now been secured by the 2022 Electoral Act, 
everything is back to you. So if you look at that pyramid, you will find that on the top, you find the headquarters, which is Abuja. In the last four years, Abuja has been doing so much to prepare this country for this election. But elections are actually conducted at the state level. So the next stage on the pyramid, you are going to find the state, that state offices where you have resident commissioners. Now, after the state, by way of what they call exchange of batting, because materials have not been taken to the various state right now, under the, the custody of the presiding officer, wherever they are domiciled, etc. bank, thereafter, those uh, ballot papers and redundant sheet will not be taken to the local government. At the local government level, all right, from that point, they will also now be handed over eventually to what they call the supervising presiding officers who are going to be in charge of various RA awards. Now, please take note of this. From the point of supervising presiding officer down to the last person, which of course is the returning officer with respect to each of the election, you'll find out that all of these persons that constitute over a million people, they are not INEX staff. These are Nigerians. And that is why this will show to you that the success or failure of election is essentially a reflection of the commitment of the people. I mean, we all know that in all institutions across our country where we have weak institutions, we have weak individuals in the system and all that. Now, assuming that just less than 20,000 20, staff of INEC nationwide, which are about whether 60,000 or thereabout, assuming that every one of them, eh, everyone is bad, which is not true, which is not correct, what about over a million people who are now fully in charge? Yori, I say this so that people who are doing things that are unnecessary to stay away from that. First, the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission on the basic day pyramid, who are in charge of election on that day. Now, now, All now, the permanent staff of INEC, that is the INEC chairman, the national commissioner, the resident commissioner, electoral officers, Okay, um, uh, just uh, the the um, the audio ceased there, but um, Mike, we'll get Mike back, and he's just made a, an important point from the point of view of uh, knowledge that uh, largely people over a million of them, uh, if I heard him correctly, uh, that will be working on behalf of INEC are actually ad hoc uh, staff. You know, okay, Mike, Mike, you're back. Yeah, Sorry, we lost you. There was a dropout. Mike, can you hear me? There was a dropout. So, uh, but I just wanted to sort of. I wanted I to bring it back, way. what you were saying that I thought was very important, which is that up to a million people that will be working yes. on behalf of INEC on that day um, were actually not staff of INEC. Yes. And um, therefore, uh, everything... INEC. Be, they are uh, Nigerians. The, but they are Nigerians. But they are ad hoc staff. And this is yes. necessary. Otherwise, you can't, All right. uh, you, you can't have INEC having a million staff. I don't know. Uh, so maybe... So people just need Absolutely. to know that. And that's where you come from when you say that yes. it will be a reflection of maybe who, how we are. Our collective values, our commitment, our national character. In fact, the whole world, this election, is going to be a referendum on the entire people of this country. That you have laws. We thank God that all the election rigging provisions that you have in the statutes that we fought for 20 years, we thank the National Assembly. We thank Mr. President, President Mohamed Bar, for appending his signature and buried those sections, section 49, section 53, 49, that gave on trammel power to presiding officer on the basis of which you say, if he's satisfied, can give ballot power to anybody, it's gone. Section 53, that usually based on the total number of registered voters instead of those who actually came, in which case, in time past, those who have died, those who showed up, because you have a computation under Section 53 of the now repeal Act that based computation on total number of registered voters, in which case there's a margin for rigging, for thumb printing, and all that. That section is gone. You know, okay, have let, let, let me bring some. Let, 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 uh, Mike, Mike, one second, please. Um, uh, you might have yeah. seen the news item. I think the uh, internal affairs people. Um, they actually said that they intercepted at our borders, you know, in the north, um, a lot of non-Nigerians uh, coming in, uh, NIM uh, certificates, uh, you know, 
the national identification numbers. They actually have national identification numbers. They have PVCs. Uh, but of course, they have been detained. These are, they have been stripped of those essential documents. Of course, there's the wonder that how did people who are not Nigerians um, have uh, uh, these things? So you see, as, you, as INEC is working, there appear to also be those that are also flat out seeing what they can do to compromise this, this situation. I mean, Nigerians, we, uh, we're supposed to know ourselves. But people are coming in that internal affairs ah. tells us are not Nigerians. And they have dispossessed them of those Nigerian exclusive documents. And uh, I hear that they will be referring them back to INEC for INEC to strike their names off. First, Iore, that is a sad commentary. It's a reflection of how things have gone so bad in our country. Under the law of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Section 12 of the Acts, is only Nigerian citizens that are entitled to name number as well as the permanent voter's card to vote. A non-Nigerian is not allowed to vote in our country. Now, because you have very porous border, you have all kinds of people coming into the country who are already have created security problem for us. Iori, we just talked about, well, we were just told about those who were being arrested. What about the many, many out there? Nigeria need a total reset. It is my hope that this current coming election, this election that is coming, that is so important, that Nigerians have so much invested their hope in, in terms of the massive participation that we have seen, will be an opportunity to reset our country such that all those things that have happened, those registration, of course, they'll be clean up. They'll be clean up. Step will be taken in due course. But for now, let's focus on this election. Indeed. But we must say okay. that whereas these numbers of persons have been apprehended, what about the men that are out there? That is an issue which we need to deal with after we now have a new reset, a process of resetting of our country. So Indeed. that will respect to that. Yes. Now, what are the essential features of these elections? In your, this election is an election that's going to be of its own class. As I've said over and again, as part of my closing remarks, my closing message to the Nigerian people is that power is back to you. Hope is reborn in you. Because the beavers had the following essentials. One, for you to be allowed to vote on election day, you must come with your permanent voter's card by virtue of section 47 of the current act. Now, the beavers do the following. Number one, it is that it is used to confirm, to verify, and authenticate your biometric. In the unlikely event that at least one finger could not be confirmed, of course, that's why they call biomoda. We now do what we call Facial accreditation. Nobody can run away from that. That is what led to the elimination completely and finally of the use of incident form. So nobody can run away from the beavers. The beavers, again, at the end, the beavers, I must say this here, that it had been designed in a way that for the purpose of negligence of presiding officer on account of our experience with the carrier, that despite the instruction to presiding officers that in the course of your accreditation, at every interval, you have to upload the accreditation data to the central server. Because they didn't do that in time past, the current beavers have been designed in such a way that even when it is idle, when the presiding officer even is doing something else, it will be uploading on its own. But at the end of the, of the, of the poll, a presiding officer is expected to do what we call the final push of the entire number of accreditation to the central server. This is the beauty about the beavers. Now, the beavers, after you have done all of that, and by virtue of section 60, you know, of the, and, and, of, of the, of the current act, a presiding officer must enter the result, the data to number accreditation, as well as the result on the form EC8A. 
Now, at that point, you need the party agent must be there to sign and to countersign that result. Now, the fundamental, fundamental, perhaps far more important role of the beavers is that at the end of the poll, after giving the duplicate of form EC8A to the party agent, the presiding officer is required to snap the image, take the photo image of the form EC8A and is enjoined under section 16, subsection 4 and 5, mandatorily, failure of which it will be attracting no less than six months imprisonment on five half a million fine. You must upload that data to so that the result. Now, okay, now, now Mike, one, one moment, please. One, one, one moment, Mike. Um, I wanted you to sort right. of explain how uh, in the recent Oshun election, it was found that there was overvoting uh, on both sides, as a matter of fact, uh, both of the primary candidates. Um, how, how I thought with all the technological devices and advancements and hard work that INEC had done, in spite of that, it was found that there was overvoting that the courts had to adjust by doing subtractions and uh, uh, new figures. Um, how, uh, that can't happen again. I mean, did we learn anything from that so that we can know that that is being frontally addressed? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Um, you know, at the moment, uh, you're, the matter is ready before the court. And uh, as a lawyer, would uh, try as much as possible to restrain from a matter that is already, already subjudice. The only thing I did... No, but, but the fact... Sorry, sir. The, the fact that yeah. it was ascertained that there was overvoting... No, that, that is not correct. Let okay. me quickly say that. Okay. That is not correct. And okay. I gave you... I was very emphatic, and nobody has challenged me since I came out because I knew there was an orchestrated plan to discredit the beavers. And that's why I came out using an analogy. And simple analogy is this. If I can say something, you put it out to the Nigerian can say it. Quickly, using Aquaibon, for instance. So you can extrapolate this example to deal with any situation, either coming or in the future. For instance, in this polling unit, at the end of the poll, how many 70 out of the total number of 150 people that were accredited in this polling unit, where I am now, eh, Mr. Yori? Now, at the end of the poll, I've, uh, while I was sorting, counting, and all of that, the beavers on its own, as designed, had already uploaded another 30, making a total of 100. Meanwhile, on the result sheets, you have 150 accredited voters on the result sheets. Okay. Are you getting the point? Yeah. Now, but I am supposed to do the final push, which I failed to do as a presiding officer. Nevertheless, it has not in any way compromised the 50 that is left. So what it had in effect is only 100. But I didn't know all of this and all that. Now, at the end of the poll, Mr. Johnson, who participated in the election eh, in this acquire bomb instant example I'm giving went to INEC office and requested for a certified copy of the bank end back end report of the total number of accreditation. Now, the first thing that the INEC officer ought to do, should do, having regard to the fact that you have the form EC8 result showing 150 in this example we are giving in acquire bomb state, was first and foremost to check the total number of check the result sheets and now go to the system. If you went to the system and you find that it was only 100 that was actually uploaded, all you needed to do at the certifying authority is to request the applicant, Mr. John, to please come back um, two hours time or day after tomorrow, as the case may be, because I could see here that the total number of criteria have not been fully uploaded. Now, this was not on this was not done. We are now given to John a certified copy of uncompleted, incomplete back end report showing 100 instead of 150, which on the face of it erroneously may suggest overvoting, which is not. I repeat, which is not. Now, by the time I gave that to John, 
John went to fight. When he went to fight, he also you know, put out in the media. Now, when Abuja found out that, oh, this is what happened, a call was made to Aquaibom and requested, look, be so, 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 please check. What we have here is 100. When it was checked, it was found out that the VIN number, the voter identification number unique for each voter in Nigeria, 50 was still left. 50 was still left, all right, on the beavers. So he now decided to upload it immediately. When it was now uploaded, if you add 50 to 100, which was the first one that had been there, it gives you 150. If you check it from EC8A, it gives you 150. Now, after that had been done, let's say this now becomes what they call second report. Now, second report, I haven't, I haven't given the first one, which was incomplete, and all that from the same primary source. Now, what happened? Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Dele now came, who also, uh, Mr. Uh, Ekanem, who also participated in the election, now came and requested for CTC. Now, at the time Abuja was not giving CTC to uh, Ekanem, he now gave Ekanem the full complete report of 150 as contained in the form EC8A okay. that the duplicate already with okay. the, the first applicant, uh, Johnson, who came for the, for, for the stop. Now, when that becomes what you call second report, which means fully uploaded total number of accreditation. Now, when at the tribunal, on the other tribunal, which is common in Aquaibom, the tribunal, by its own order, ordered for inspection of this particular beavers of where the first report was 100, the second was now 150, which tallies with what's on the primary report. On the basis of that, there was what we call stakeholder inspection. The concept of all the both Ekanem and uh, Johnson, they were all together. When they opened the, the, the beavers, they found out that 50 was left uploaded as at the time the first report was given. But as at the time the second world moon, it already, the date will be there and all that. Now, what you now have between us here are three reports. First, not complete. Second, complete. Third, complete. On the basis of the order of the court, what's now left for the court is to deal with the report that because the three of them emanated from the same over, the total number of uh, valid vote exceed the total accreditation even by one that becomes over voting in this instance i get to you of a particular plane of 150 there is no over voting oh, this okay. can be extrapolated to oh, any scenario okay. anywhere anytime any day so the beavers has brought tremendous energy of hope of integrity that has put the nigerian voter at the center of electoral democracy and put what you call the candidate at the periphery that is why the incident of vote buying has become a major issue right now because they now pay attention to the people. Before now, nobody pays attention to the people. They have no respect for the Nigerian people. But what we decided, what to say, look, in any democracy, the respect for the people is the beginning of responsible leadership. That is what the beaver has come to do. So I would like to close my thought on the beaver, that the beaver as it is, Yori, the only thing you can do is to destroy it. There is nothing that you can do with the beavers at all. Okay. That is why in various upland or riverine areas, for example, in Delta, in Delta where I come from, some funny, funny votes used to get some terrible votes from riverine areas. All those ones are all over. All the tilapia, all the species of fishes you used to have in that area, they must come before the beavers now. You can no longer... You know, uh, come up with vote anyhow, because at the moment, you're the final point on this, with respect to the beavers. At the end of the poll, in the entire 176,606 where election will be conducted because of the uh, 240 that be removed from the earlier uh, total number of vote, uh, PU in Nigeria, I can now tell you that on account of section 51, that has changed section 50. Three, which not deal with actual number of people who came on that day. Yeah. A new register will be produced in every polling unit. Wow. This okay. is the game game changer. You because know, that, 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 already, that, maybe the last that, point now I... is that you know, as a as you yourself as a work relation officer, before now, as a presiding officer, you will not have communication with me. But today, you already as a work relation officer, you have access to the result, you have seen it, it's gonna be on the public viewing portal, and that is why. In a dose state, over two million people were asked to assess it. So in each of the polling, we are going to see the result. Before okay. the end of the poll, everybody would have known the winner 
of the election. There will be no tension. Okay, that's good to know. And um, uh, initially, when you started at the top, you were explaining how it was very easy for individuals just using their cell phone to check where their polling center is. Uh, these, uh, b because it might have seemed a bit, uh, you know, uh, complicated, you know, all the web, web uh, site addresses, I'm sure if they were to go to INEX main site, there would be a link there to these all-important uh, sections of it that you say, where people could fill in. I'm sure the web, INEX website itself will no, direct you no, to that particular go to Google, portal. Go to Google. Go, just go to Google. Just go to Google. Just look in there. Just type in there. It just take you straight to the place, and you see the page saying, check your status. Once you just put yeah. your name and all that, seconds. Okay, show you now, your I just wanted to be sure that code there are a lot of people. I just wanted that. to be sure that just about anybody could just anybody anybody could anybody you know anybody. go to the uh, from Abia to Zampara State. You can and do then that say right check now. your status.